Well, this year uh, we celebrate the 60th anniversary of uh, concluding the Korean War. And also this year uh, it is the 60th anniversary of uh, Korea and the United States uh, signed a mutual defense treaty. And the Korea-U.S. alliance was born uh, in uh, 60 years ago. So, um, in Asian culture, uh, 60 uh, means, has a very special meaning. Uh, according to Chinese zodiac, a full uh, cycle uh, completes in 60 years. So, which means that the uh, Korean Peninsula is now entering a new uh, cycle of 60 years. So, uh, I would like to share uh, what happened uh, on the, in Korea uh, during those past 60 years. Uh, when the Korean War was over in 1953, uh, Korea was one of the poorest countries in the world. Uh, its industrial infrastructure were almost completely uh, destroyed by the war, by war. And South Korean people virtually had nothing uh, to start with. But uh, thanks to the uh, uh, generous assistance from international community, and also uh, thanks to the uh, Korea-U.S. alliance, uh, South Korea could make a, a miracle uh, accomplishment uh, during the past 60 years. And uh, now uh, South Korea transformed, successfully transformed itself from one of the poorest country. Uh, it's now a member of the OECD. And also uh, South Korea uh, is a quite a unique case that from the recipient country of international aid, now we are uh, uh, with the DAC member and provide a international assistance to other uh, countries now. Well, uh, but uh, the peace on the Korean Peninsula uh, right now, as it is, is standing on a, a very uh, fragile uh, basis. This is the uh, Armistice, Armistice Treaty, uh, which means that, uh, strictly speaking, the uh, Korean Peninsula is still in a state of war. Therefore, in the next 60 years, South, uh, South Korea and North Korea should move uh, uh, forward, uh, overcoming the uh, present uh, precarious balance uh, and uh, fragile uh, peace, uh, which means that we must overcome uh, current armistice system and into a more uh, lasting and sustainable uh, peace mechanism. But, uh, as you know, uh, currently the most serious hurdle is North Korea's nuclear problem. As long as North Korea, uh, uh, continue to, uh, uh, develop their nuclear weapon, uh, Korean, the lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula is impossible. And also, uh, uh, for North Korean regime and its people, uh, to survive, they need international assistance. So I really hope that uh, North Korean regime uh, help themselves to get into the international community. And I think that's the only way that North Korean uh, uh, regime and its people can survive in the future. But at the same time, uh, North Korean uh, efforts alone it is not uh, sufficient. International collaboration, uh, for example, like the United States, China, South Korea, Japan, Russia, uh, surrounding countries of North Korea must work together to forge out a little more uh, lasting uh, peace uh, system uh, on the Korean Peninsula and uh, its vicinity. I think in the next 60 years, I hope uh, those concerned nations should work together uh, to uh, make a real progress on the peace and stability on the Korean Peninsula.